doing maintenance to the old Land Pride bush hog. I'm gonna go do some bush hogging at the big house. We got some gear oil and the, and the old bush hog here. Had this bush hog a long time. New bush hog wheel there. RCR 1560 is a model. They don't make this model anymore. That's been a good bush hog. <coughs> yeah, they're tight them up. <coughs> What do you think? Ready to go? Yeah, I just went to lay it in the Well, I mean, you, let's go ahead and change it if you want to. Raise it up. It's what now? Right there. So, what notch we need to raise this or, or lower it? Alright. Oh, you want me to get my sockets? <clears throat> or maybe you got a socket. This is our Master Ferguson 1532-2008 Compact Series. We've had this tractor for since 2008. It's been a good tractor, four-wheel drive, 33 horsepower. Turn the cutter on. All right. Maybe go and cut off. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. There's a tractor. Fixing to get a bigger tractor, maybe. Hopefully. That's been nice and just need a bigger one. A little too small for what we do. Get a 40 something horse or a 50 something horse John Deere we've been looking at. Land Pride's made in the USA, which is cool. Good bush hogs. We'll be back. Alright, y'all, we're at the location. We're going to bush hog. We're at my grandmother's old house, the big house we call it. Got the 1513 Max ready to go. Land Pride bush hog ready. Got everything adjusted. The dad's over sewing a tree. And he's supposed to yank it out of the way with a Ford 1910 two wheel drive. 85 model. That's what we're gonna bush hog right there. So y'all stay with us. We got a good bit. We're gonna bush hog and do a few more videos in a little bit. Alright, still a little bush hogging in the big house where my grandmother used to live, so this stuff is thick as cold peanut butter. You ever seen cold peanut butter? It's pretty thick. Yeah, we're doing a little bush hogging in the field beside her own house there. Still out in our family. And that's the field there. This Max Ferguson 1532 is making good work of it for the land pride bush hog. But the bush hog is bogging down a little bit. But it's so thick in places. Start to let the bush hog stop and catch up and then go. But you got a pretty good little sized field here. Cut up the chainsaw. This stuff can dig, dig, dig. But this is how we, this is how we roll out in the country, y'all. Oh, there it goes, bogging down. Got a 
that stuff. That ketchup. And it helps to raise the bush on too. There's the field we're cutting. So, got done bush hogging, just cut it off, cut the tractor off, and it won't crank back up. The battery's weak, so we're going to get that jumped off. But let's do a little, what do you want to call it, on these tractors. So of course, there's the battery. Got an Apple Power battery, good battery. A uh, good brand of battery. Uh, I don't know why it's dying on us, I guess, because it's a little bit old. But you see these screens on the front of your radiator here. See how that's got all that debris, and it's kind of hard to see because of the sun, but got all that debris and stuff from bush hogging so you want to take those and all your tractors your big or small tractors oh that's kind of a little hot but you shake it and it gets all that gets all that debris loose and it won't clog up your radiator and the tractor will run smoother and better it won't get hot oh yeah that looks a thousand times better i'll shake it off a little bit more in just a minute but you always want to do that. Other tractor, want to make sure everything's greased. Your oil is changed regularly. 
uh, your, at your intervals you're supposed to change it at. Change your fluid, check your bush hog, uh, grease your bush hog, because this morning we, we, we put oil in the gearbox, uh, gearbox oil in there, and the bush hog been performing flawlessly. This ain't the best model bush hog we got. Uh, we got an, another land pride that's newer and much better and heavier duty. But this one gets the job done. We've had it since since we bought this tractor, I think 2008. So, Land Pride's a good brand. Uh, Land Pride sold out. They sold out to Kubota. Kubota's a Japanese company, so Kubota bought out an American company, sadly. But they're still made in America, which is cool. And Mace Ferguson's a good brand of tractor. Uh, Agco owns Mace Ferguson. But, uh, Anyways, we'll be back with some more videos later. Alright, so we got the tractor fixed. Crunk back up. So what it was, the fuse box. I messed up, had to unplug it, plug it back in. And we also went by B&H Parts Company and got some extra bus fuses. For Mr. Gary, Mr. Keith. Cool thing, these fuses are made in the USA. You can see it right there, made in the USA. Five amp fuses, but uh... So it's running now, so let me go do some more bush hogging. And uh, we'll see you later. Be right back. 